Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. All right, friends, this is on request. Someone asking me the Neato bot that connected. I have several videos on this channel about this, so go ahead, hit subscribe, like this video, helps me a ton, doesn't cost you anything. All right, so to the person who asked and anybody else who's interested out there, here is after the Neato uh, runs, then basically every single time you need to clean out the filter and about every three to four times you need to clean out the brush underneath and I'm gonna show you the pros, the cons, what works well, what doesn't work that well. All right, so first and foremost, let's get to this guy right here. Pop this guy off. Here's where all your yuck collects and you can see this is getting kind of gross, probably needs to be cleaned out. But one thing that's nice about the Neato BotVac Connected, it's a little bit more expensive uh, than some of the other BotVacs. But one of the pluses is that this filter down here is a really nice filter. And so all I do is go like that to open it. And then there's my grossness right there. And I'm gonna get my trash can right here. And all I do is kind of bang it a couple times. I really don't get it perfect. And maybe it needs to be cleaner than that. I don't do it. And this is what I've been doing for about two and a half years. It seems to work really well. So give it a couple bangs, although it does look like it's getting pretty dirty in there. But it's a nice filter. It's kind of a mesh. It's not paper. And some of the other cheaper BotVacs have a paper filter. Don't do it. This guy right here has lasted a long, long time. And I can clean this guy out, and I don't think it'd be any problem at all. So don't fall for the paper ones. All right, and then there's my grossness in there. All right, looks like we got a little bit of the, uh, I don't know, some part of a toy or something. But we'll get the rest of this guy. We'll dump it out into here. And that's good enough. Now you can see there, this guy really needs to get washed out, which I'll take care of another day. But for today, I'm gonna put it back in and then this guy just kind of closes up like this. And it pops back in like that. And then I just slide the back in and pop it down. So it's kind of cool too, you can see, basically the air gets sucked in here, right? It gets sucked in through this guy right here. I know it's gross, don't, don't forget your vacuum, I bet it's gross too. But uh, this guy was just cleaned a couple runs ago and it just gets dirty in here. Sucks in the gross stuff here, goes into that hole right there, gets caught in that filter and just keeps going around. So let me show you on the bottom, here is the roller. This roller has not been cleaned in about five runs or so. So what I have to do is I get this guy right here and I gently pull up on it. I'm sorry, it's this side here and I gently pull up on it. Okay, so it comes out from the kind of back side, if you will, and then you just take it out. And then this roller, kind of a nice feature is that you can just pull it right on out. So you pull it out like so, and then you can take off all that hair and all that nonsense. And this wheel right here, you can actually just pop right off if you don't know that one. So that way you can get all this hair that's kind of going around your spool right here. So I'll clean that guy off and then we'll put it back in. Obviously it takes a minute or two. Sometimes I even have to use scissors to cut all that hair off and that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it on maintenance. One more thing while I have this out like this that I'll tell you is there's supposed to be a little spinner that goes right here, this little brush that spins and kind of cleans up the corners. Honestly, it keeps falling off. It's only held on by a magnet. So for my family, we just gave up on it. I feel like this thing still does a 96% job without that. I mean, it really does do a nice job if you're interested in getting one of these guys. Don't get the cheaper ones, don't get the D3, don't get the D7. Look at my other videos, I'll tell you why. We bought those and returned them. And uh, this BotVac Connected is probably, in my opinion, the least expensive of the ones that are worth purchasing, if that makes any sense. So some of the cheaper ones don't uh, go up onto the carpet very well. So if you go from a transition like tile or a wood floor onto carpet, don't get the D3, don't get the D7, they don't do that very well. Also, the D3 battery is a joke. It does not last very long. It keeps going back to the charger to keep charging up. Don't do it, because you know those batteries, the first time you run it is the longest it's gonna last after that. That's it, that's the shortest it's gonna run. So this guy does well here. Also, the uh, connected seems to do a little bit better job if we keep our chairs down. It does a better job than the D3 and the D7 did for us as far as getting all the uh, little nooks and crannies and that kind of stuff. There's its home over there right next to the baby's chair with three kids and pets. 
This place is a mess and this vacuum does a great job. I'll put a link to the description in the description below of where you can shop for these guys on Amazon. I know this looks like a little bit of a mess right here, but I'm telling you, once you clean this guy up, put it back together, let it charge up and it's ready to go. So strongly recommend this one. Don't go any cheaper than the BotVac Connected. Don't do it. Uh, that's the Neato BotVac Connected. There are some ones that are a little bit more expensive. My opinion is you're just getting bells and whistles. And this guy right here is the right price to really be a good functional bot back. All right, friends, hope you like this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.